Hey guys, my name is Dee and welcome to my channel, Pure Black Magic. Uh, emphasis on the pure black magic. It's definitely all light work, black girl magic over here. So please, please, please miss me with any uh, unnecessary comments on my channel regarding black magic. Because I will address the ignorance if need be. And if you leave in anything like that, then my introduction obviously went over your head so moving forward um again my name is d and i'm gonna kind of just present to you guys today a quick little oracle message the way i like to do my readings is um i start off with like oracle cards of my choice that leads into the tarot um and then i may even end the reading with like some advice cards or um another message from like a different oracle deck so it kind of just depends on the flow of the reading what's going on um i kind of just change it up a little bit cater to the energy and what i'm feeling in that moment that day so yeah let's get it started um just keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you um pieces of the story might resonate with you and then it might the other parts of the story whereas you're just like nah like that's not for me and that's totally okay because it's a general reading um but if you would like something that's more personalized for yourself you need some questions to answer you need some clarity about a situation feel free to hit me up um that information will be in the description box below okay um so i'm going to start off using the believe in your own magic um oracle deck this is a pretty cool deck that i got not too long ago um yeah i'm just glad to kind of use this one for you guys today so let's see i've already been shuffling um a bit and meditating on your energy i really picked up a vibe of um you guys being happy, which is a good thing, of course. Um, you guys being happy, you guys focusing on your coin, focusing on your home life, your family life. Um, and then it just brought me back to you focusing on your coin again. So um, I don't know, you might be working hard, working a lot of hours, putting work into like a business, trying to start a business, or uh, maybe you want to rebrand or enhance your business. Um, but yeah, I definitely picked up on family life, love and relationships, just emotional fulfillment, um, money, all of that stuff in between. And then it brought me back to the coin again. So um, you could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or you could just be all about your bread, which is fine too. So let's see what messages we have for you. Spirit, please give me three messages for the collector. Three messages for the collector. are definitely not talking whatever you're doing you're not talking about it you're not talking about it and your guys definitely have your back on that one you are not talking about it people trying to get shit out of you you're not talking about it i feel like that's good though keep it like that for the sake of this reading we need a few cards so i'm gonna give you a few more shuffles This one popped out so we have lighthouse don't doubt your worth it's card number 20 next we have nostalgia focus on the here and now this is card number 33 and then we have garden something lovely will grow from this Ooh. Okay. And this is card number 15. Hmm. Lighthouse, Nostalgia, and Garden. 
Don't doubt yourself. Focus on the here and now. Something lovely will grow from this. And at the bottom, you have swim away from this situation. Shark card, swim away from this situation. Card number 35. So we'll see what this is pertaining to um, in a bit. But with these three cards here, I feel like you guys are working on accomplishing something. Um, working on obtaining something. Developing some sort of status in your life. Um, achieving a goal. Accomplishing something. Starting um, a project. I don't know why I'm picking up film here too. Like, um, you might be an actor or an actress. You might like starting small films. Um, I'm picking up photography here as well. Maybe you want to start like a photography business, um, or just some type of creative business. You have some sort of vision. Um, but it's, it's telling you, spirit is telling you not to doubt your self-worth, your self-worth. So I feel like you might have been kind of not feeling confident about whatever this is that you want to do. Um, maybe you're just a bit indecisive. Maybe you feel like you don't have all the tools or resources to, um, get to this certain position you want to be in. Um... Could be having some conflicting thoughts about it but spirit is telling you not to doubt yourself next you have the nostalgia focus on the here and now so yeah with this card is definitely letting me know that you're really in your head um about whatever this goal is whatever you're trying to accomplish you could be thinking back on past situations, maybe a past job. Maybe you're just starting something totally new that you've never done before. Um, and it's a little bit out of your comfort zone. So you're kind of in your head about, you know, your past and being comfortable wherever you're at. And you might have some anxiety about breaking out of that and doing something totally different or doing something that you know really makes you happy but you or you believe it'll make you happy but you you know you've never done it before so you're thinking about the past you're contemplating on the future and this is just a message from spirit telling you to focus on the here and now don't doubt yourself take it day by day and focus on the here and now you can only tackle one day at a time um so if you're dwelling on the past, you're not making any progress. And if you're anxious about the future, you know, you're really setting yourself up for failure because you can only tackle what's going on right now, today. So, yeah, it's just to focus on the here and now. And then um, the third card following that is the garden card. Something lovely will grow from this. Yeah, so I feel like you should definitely just keep whatever steps you're taking. Um, hmm. I'm getting weight loss journey too, uh, for some reason. Um, so you could be trying to lose weight. You could be trying to gain weight. You could just be trying to change your appearance in any way, grow your hair, um, clear up your skin. Um, any of that along with starting new projects. But I feel like if you just focus on the here and now, get those negative thoughts out of your head something would definitely grow from whatever you're trying to achieve like you're going to get the end goal that you want you're definitely going to get it but i'm going to pull some uh tarot cards just to clarify these oracle cards for you um and this shark swim away from this situation is kind of 
kind of bothering me, but I'm just going to have to clarify. You have spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Okay. Library, take control of your own narrative. Okay. So the swim away from this situation um, and then don't be afraid to sing. So this could be speaking on um, any self-doubt, any like negative thoughts, um, anything that might be holding you back. Spirit is telling you to swim away from it. Like get away from that. Get out of your head. Get away from that energy. Um, focus on the here and now. I feel like a lot, you might not be where you want to now but i feel like a lot is going on for you um energy wise right now like i feel like you have a lot of support whether it's physical support from friends and family or if it's just spiritual support from your spirit guys um and they're trying to help you stay focused you need to focus on the day by day don't get too ahead of yourself so yeah that's definitely what i'm getting from that don't get too ahead of yourself. I feel like you got things under control, whether you know it or not. It's definitely going to work in your favor. So definitely some positive energy, in which case I've had that positive energy even before the reading started in the meditation state for you guys. So yeah, let's see. So I want to pull a few cards for the Lighthouse card just to see. Don't doubt your self-worth. What is this pertaining to, Spirit? Please give me three cards to clarify Lighthouse. Mm. I'm getting restaurant business too. Maybe some of you guys might be um, cooks, chefs, might be in culinary school, thinking about opening like your own restaurant, your own food truck. So let's see. Three cards for Lighthouse Spirit. So you got the high priestess. Ooh, very intuitive, very majestic, very much so um, magician. By birthright. Up. Oh, the next card is the magician. All right. Well, there we go, spirit. Thank you for clarifying that and then the next card over we have the ten of cups oh this is some really good energy and then at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of pentacles and prior to the reading i was shuffling meditating on your energy and i kept constantly getting the queen of pentacles so here she is again this is like the fourth time um so yeah money 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 like i definitely see money you guys are focused on money or money is coming in for you stability like you do not need to doubt yourself this is not the time to doubt yourself at all um that's crazy high priestess magician energy for me you know as a reader and then a magician comes out right after that and then you have the ten of cups that is crazy um so yeah, definitely don't doubt your self-worth. I feel like you intuitively know that you're capable. But you may be the type of person that just, you know, you might suffer from a bit of anxiety or, you know, you kind of just go back and forth with yourself in your head about things, but you know that you're capable. Um, you know you possess you know, the power of manifestation, attraction, law of attraction, all of that, um, to write your own story. Magician. Ten of Cups. This could be pertaining to, um, hmm, a relationship, a relationship to you might be with someone who is also equally as magical as you are when it comes to manifesting just because we have um you know the feminine and the masculine here and then the ten of cups is kind of like a family um type of situation down here so yeah you could be a mother you could um have a child have like a newborn baby 
You could be trying to find yourself again um, after, you know, having a child or, yeah, I just feel like you're starting something new and you have like, a, you know, some negative thoughts, but you're fully capable. You have the magician here. You can definitely manifest whatever you want. And then you have this Ten of Cups. So if you do have a family, I feel like it's four of you guys. So, you know, you and your partner, you guys could have two kids. You could want two kids. Um, but you definitely have, like, the happy life going on here. So definitely don't doubt your self-worth. Okay. Then you got the money coming in with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. So, yeah. Um, high Priestess Energy, you could be, like, a Pisces or a Water Sign, Magician, um, this is also Virgo or Gemini energy. So that could be you, that could be your partner. Uh, but these are just the energies of the cards. It does not necessarily have to apply, but it could. So let's move on to the nostalgia card. Focus on the here and now. Spirit, please give me three cards regarding nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. Clarify this card, Spirit. All right, Knight of Pentacles. This is more um, Earth energy, coin energy. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then you have Eight of Cups, and then you have Four of Cups. All right. So this Four of Cups is definitely symbolizing um, being up in your head. So it's definitely going hand in hand with this nostalgia card. Let me see. I'm getting the feeling that whatever you're working towards, um, it's more of a slow and steady wins the race type thing. It may not be moving as quickly as you want it to. Um, it might not be progressing as quickly as you want it to. So if it's like a business or maybe you're in school or, you know, whatever stage or phase in your life, it may not be going according to how you feel as if it should, but it is moving forward. Um, it is solid. It is something that is going to be fruitful. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is very determined, very solid, um, very equipped for whatever situation you're going through. Um, but with this Eight of Cups energy and then this Four of Cups energy, it just, it really lets me know that you've been in your head. You've kind of been dwelling um, on it or just emotional. You've been like in an emotional state that's not necessarily stable. Um I'm not too sure what's causing you to be in that mindset, but yeah, I'm picking up a little bit of like discouragement, a little bit of depression, um, or just daydreaming. Not even necessarily all of those things. Maybe you've, you've just been reflecting a lot about like your past and where you are now and where you want to go. And that's where the anxiety comes in at because you're kind of focusing too much on it, you know, mentally and not allowing it to manifest for you. Because you definitely have the potential to bring your dreams to reality. Yeah, this is that energy that's that's holding you back. But I mean, the good thing is it's the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups, which is right before the Nine of Cups. Um, and the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So this might be the energy that you're in or you were in. Um, but just like this garden card is next and it's saying something lovely will grow from this. Your eight of cups, like you're you're done feeling this way. You're ready to be happy. You're ready for that wish fulfillment. It's like your nine of cups is right around the corner. So, yeah. Definitely stay focused. This knight of, pen of pentacles, he's always focused. You have to be focused. And the card right here, 
is telling you to focus on the here and now. So you guys need to just stay focused. Just keep going. Just keep going. Even if you feel as if you don't see a result in what you're doing now, just keep going. It's going to come. Something lovely will grow from this. Okay? And then at the bottom, you have the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. You are definitely just worried about stability. Um... He looks like he's been through it. Like <laughs> he's look he just looks like he's been struggling to kind of like think keep things above water. Um struggling to obtain some type of stable foundation. Um guard his values, his possessions. Then you have the judgment right after that and the eight of pentacles okay yep so i want you guys to see this oh yep seven of pentacles okay it's a lot it's a lot you guys have a lot of money coming in whatever it is you're going to be set you might be worried about stability and paying bills and finances and stuff like that now but you have pentacles back to back to back so you have the four of pentacles he looks like he's struggling for stability right here like he has a little something but he's struggling to hold on to it to keep it safe to you know maintain it and make it grow right after that you have the judgment card i feel like this is spirit this is the universe they've seen you working hard this is the judgment card they're going to be giving you what you've put in you're reaping what you sow and then right behind that you have the eight of pentacles this is my secure in the bag card eight of pentacles you can see the difference between the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles he's a little bit frantic here with the four of pentacles but with the eight of pentacles over here he's content like he's secure in the bag no problem it's easy um he's not like stressed or anything like he doesn't have the distress in his face like the four of pentacles person does and then right behind that you have the seven of pentacles so this is nurturing growing um whatever you're working on this is telling you to keep going focus on the here and now keep going like this message is literally repeating itself so let's move on so the garden card something lovely will grow from this let's see spirit please give me three cards regarding the garden card Spirit, give me three cards regarding the garden card Okay, so we got about three cards that kind of flipped over already. We're going to take those. So we have the Four of Wands. Now this is my Union card. Um, Four of Wands is kind of like the lucky card. Two Wands on each side, 11-11. Like a wish card, make a wish, wish fulfillment card. So this could be a bond, this could be a union, um, like a marriage or a romantic situation. Um, or this could just be you coming um, together with something fulfilling, something emotionally fulfilling. You manifesting like a bond or a partnership, um, a collaboration you and something or you and somebody else coming together and it falls underneath the garden cards something lovely will grow from this so that's really good energy you will definitely get whatever you're seeking and then you have the page of pentacles so more coin energy more earth energy taurus virgo capricorn um this is a card of being insightful um 
this is also a card of like a student or wanting to learn more um wanting to like take on some sort of like journey um but again this is a a slow and steady pace kind of similar to the knight of pentacles um but it's definitely something solid definitely something fruitful that will come from this come from this um and it's right underneath the four of wands energy so again i feel like it might not be happening to the beat you want it to but it's happening and that's the key part and then the third card you have is the hierophant here so the hierophant um this is my taurus card this card also represents some type of um, commitment, some type of bond. Um, the Hierophant is also like a spiritual leader. Hmm. It represents institution. I don't know why I'm getting like a lot of school from this. Maybe you guys are like going back to school and you're nervous about going back to school nervous about learning something new maybe you're working in a field you've never worked in before or you're following a dream you never had the confidence to follow before um we got b and b here so your initials could be b b yeah whatever this outcome is it's solid it's solid it's loyal it's it's gonna take you far this is commitment this is longevity actually so yeah i mean like if it's whatever it is you just need to keep going if it's like the weight loss thing or the weight gain thing or um the acting career maybe you're an expiring actor or um just in the industry it could be music it could be anything you're tied to it it's like it's your birthright Then you have the King of Cups at the bottom. The Hangman. The Knight of Wands. The Death card. This King of Cups energy. Um, I'm not sure who it is, but I'm just getting a feeling of like whoever this King of Cups energy is. Um, and this could be like a, a kind of like a totally separate message from what's going on here. But I feel as if whoever the King of Cups energy is, this is the energy that you need to swim away from. So the shark card, swim away from this situation. You need to swim away um, from this King of Cups energy. So to me this king of cups in this particular deck um is not necessarily emotionally stable um he looks he just looks a little frantic in this card to me um so this could be an actual person with uh water energy or this could be yourself with this kind of like rocky emotional you know how you feel about the situation type of energy and this is what you need to get away from which is kind of what i was saying in the beginning this is what you need to swim away from um so yeah i mean other than that i feel like whatever you guys are putting in work on like it's definitely coming in for you you just got to keep going you might not be able to see it but you just got to keep going you got to leap out on faith i'm gonna pull um just a wisdom card for you guys to wrap up the reading wisdom oracle card for you spirit please give me a card of advice for the collective regarding this reading oh this one pops right out 
new life all right well if that doesn't say it all i don't know what to tell you new life you are working towards a new life and it is right here for you you just got to get out of your head you got to keep going but spirit is literally handing you everything that you want new life card number 39 um breaks down to a three so that could be significant for you new life and then at the bottom of the deck you have truth be told so yeah i feel like things are definitely coming in for you you just gotta keep at it like you're the magician you're the high priestess like you have the ten of cups the world is yours all right guys see you next time